All right, hello everybody. This is the uh, this is the first episode of our my spore series. I am going to just talk about the game, tell you some interesting things that I know about the game. Uh, my name is Mr. Lucas. I uh, I've played through Spore a little while. I'm not going to go all the way through the space stage. Spoiler alert, I'm sorry for that. Uh, space stage is too ridiculously long for me to go through. Sorry. So, uh, let's get right into the game now. After you uh, pick uh, if you want to be carnivore or herbivore, you, uh, you uh, name your planet and you uh, just go down and have this awesome little uh, cutscene. You're you're in a meteor. Your species is in a meteor, and you crash into the water, and it explodes. Um, while we're watching this cutscene, I'm gonna give you a little heads up. I am slightly crazy. I uh, I sent I t I tend to say weird things, so if you don't like that, you might want to stop listening now. But I recommend that you don't, because it could be kind of fun. All right, so there's the explosion. Um, there's pieces of death raining from the sky into the water. You are in one of those pieces of death. You come out as a little, little tiny cell, nice and happy, you know? Nice and... Yeah. Uh, you're in that little rock then. Oh, look, look, I just... Ex I, I'm out of the rock now. Isn't that cool? Pretty lame-looking little cell there at the beginning. Not very uh, interesting or anything. Just a little yellow blob. little yellow herbivore. I picked herbivore at the beginning because it's easier to do. Uh, to get through the cell stage very quickly. Uh, when you're a herbivore, you just go around and collect all of these little uh, these little green splotches. I guess they are they're little pieces of plant life in the water because you're a you're a microorganism right now. Um, whenever you eat a certain amount, you uh, grow and you become larger and you get to the next level of size. I guess uh, when you're a carnivore, you eat those little red semicircles. I guess you would call them that are in the water. Um, that really big guy that's about to eat the other guy, those are called water epics. That part there that you can get, you can use that to customize your cell however you would like. Um, so now I have that, and once I call my mate so I can mate and create a new generation of my species, I can add that part to my cell if I would like. Right now I'm just going around collecting some, uh, some plant to eat. Um, I'm gonna switch to carnivore at the last second, so I can be a her herbivore or an omnivore. Sorry, at the very end of the game, it's a lot easier to go through that way. Um, those guys are—I just stole their food. I don't really care if they starve. I'm gonna uh, call a mate now, so I can uh, customize my cell however I would like. So that should be fun. <sighs> my little uh, mating ritual right here. Let's see how that goes, and. Uh, that in that little ball there is where our, our new life is going to come from. Uh, this is basically just telling you that you can like color your cell and stuff. I'm going to uh, customize my cell here. I'm just looking at some uh, past designs there to see what I can go with in the future. Give him some spikes so I can attack so I'm not completely useless. Uh, you can use the scroll wheel to customize how big the spine, which doesn't really make sense because it's a microorganism, but how big the spine of your microorganism is. Um, I gave him double spikes so he's a lot manlier. I'm going to make my creature red because red's a nice a nice color. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to name him a Vecrite after the name of my planet, Vecron. So uh, let's get back into the uh, water. And uh, now, really funnily enough, you uh, you just go through here, and uh, oh, I'm gonna save now. Apparently, that's that's cool. I didn't I didn't know I was gonna save. I've saved now, and now I'm gonna continue. Oh yes, I save very often throughout this game because my computer will tend to overheat every now and then when I'm playing Spore because it can't handle the pure awesomeness of Spore. It's a really, uh, really intense game at times, so I have to make sure that my computer doesn't overheat. Uh, I'm now, uh, when you lose health, if you get attacked by other cells, you can eat whatever you need. The either the plant if you're a herbivore, or the meat if you're a carnivore, uh, and that will regenerate your health. Um, the little green bar at the bottom of the of the screen is. Uh, your progress bar. Once you fill that up, you get to go on to the next stage, which you'll see once I fill out the bar. 
Um, I just got another part there, the jet. So once I get more uh, DNA points, which I get from eating plant, uh, I will be able to add that onto my creature and make him twice as awesome as he is and twice as fast. So I'm pumped for that. Um, can't eat that meat because uh, then I'll throw up because I'm a herbivore. I tend to make some bad jokes too because that, that was a bad joke right there. So I'm just going to give you a little heads up for that. Um, to the left of the green bar, um, there's a, oh, I'm, I'm saving again. Okay. To the, uh, to the left of the little green progress bar, there is a, uh, a little number there with a little DNA strand next to it. That's the number of DNA points you have. You use the DNA points to, uh, add... Uh, pieces to your creature. That's not really hard to figure out. You figure out that out pretty easily by yourself. Um, I'm gonna try and take down this water epic now, so I can get its uh, poison spitter. Let's uh, let's see how that goes. I, I I don't remember if I die or not. I don't think I do. No, I uh, I took it down and I I got its poison spitter. So I'm gonna add that to my creature and make him twice as awesome. So I'm just gonna swim around, see if I can find some new parts or some new, uh, some new or more food. Sorry. Just swimming around, trying not to get eaten, trying to eat stuff. Kind of cell stage is it's a pretty good stage, but it's not as good as uh, some of the later stages in the game. So if you enjoy what you're seeing right now, then you'll definitely enjoy what you're gonna see later. And if you do own the game, then you'll enjoy playing the uh, later stages in the game. There are, uh, there is the cell stage, the creature stage, the tribal stage, the civilization stage, and the space stage in this game, so it's a, it's a fairly long game, and the space stage is like maybe three times as long as all the other stages combined. Um, so I, I still haven't gotten through it. It's a, it's a very, very long process. I have a lot of game time on it, and I haven't beaten it, and I've just been going through it really fast. But it's it's just ridiculously long to beat, so I really can't handle it. <laughs> there is an achievement for uh, for getting through the cell stage in less than eight minutes. I was gonna try and do that, but I decided that in order for the full effect, I would try and get most of the parts that you can get in the in the cell stage. There are six of them that you can get. There is the poison spitter. The cilia, which are little wings that help you turn faster, and they give you a little speed. The jet, which propels you through the water. The omnivorous nose, which you, which that uh, little green creature there has. It can eat uh, plants and meat. Um, there is the zappy thing. I'm not entirely sure what it's called. I can't really remember. And then there is the... There's, there's one more part. There, I just got the, the cilia right there. I can't remember what the other part is, but I think I get it. I'm not sure. Oh, the spikes. That's the, that's the other part. I already have that. Um, I think I'm about to die here. This big blue creature eats me. Not very nice of him, but uh, that's the way it goes, I guess. Eat or be eaten. Um, so, yeah, I'm just uh, chilling out, going around. Trying to not get eaten. Yep, yeah, I'm I'm about to die now. Cause uh, yep, there there I go. And now once once you die, you don't lose any progress or anything. You just start off where, where you basically were in a different part of the level. Now in the later stages, you're gonna want to save periodically or save right before you think you're gonna die or before you go into a battle. Because if you do die, you will go back to the last place you saved, which you really don't want to do. Because I have given up on a spore a few times while playing through the game. Um, because I had gotten to a very long part, like played two hours through the game, and then given up because I died. Um, those uh, little creatures over there, they're called buzzies. They uh, they have the, the the zappy thing. The it shocks people if you have it on. Uh, it's not of too much use in the creature stage, so I don't really use it. it. All it does is help you charm in the creature stage. It's not that important unless you're going to go through the creature stage as a friendly person as opposed to a aggressive person. I'm just going to 
edit my sta my uh, creature again. I don't have enough for the jet. But I will take off my spikes so that I can afford the jet so I can go faster. I will take off my uh, little squiggly thing at the end of my creature because I don't need that anymore. And I believe I add, yes, I add the uh, carnivorous mouth right here so that I can, uh, so I can eat plants and meat, which is very helpful in the creature stage. You you can customize your creature to basically what you, whatever you want, but it has to be symmetrical on each side. The game won't let allow it to be unsymmetrical. I don't think that's very cool. I think if they do the game again, they should definitely make you let it let you be able to have un, uh, asymmetrical sides. That's just me though. Um, I'm almost done now. When you start seeing the seashells and the seashells start getting bigger and bigger, that means you're getting closer to the end of the game because your creature is getting bigger and bigger and you're starting to get to the size of seashells. So uh, that's pretty pretty uh, exciting, as you might say. Um, I end up, at the very end of this, being a herbivore because it, it gives you three classes. If you eat more meat than anything else, you become a carnivore. If you eat more plant than anything else, you become a herbivore. And if you eat basically a balanced amount, you become a omnivore. But... Uh, you can still eat plant and meat in the next stage, but you may not have all the special abilities of an omnivore if you just eat plant or just eat meat. So it's basically all preference. If you're thinking about you might want to kill creatures in the next stage, then you can definitely uh, eat meat if you want, depending on how fast you want to go through the cell stage. If you want to try and get the finish the cell stage in under 8-minute achievement, it's all up to you. I am at 11.50 now, so I am going to stop the video for here, and I will, uh, I will talk to you again next time, guys. All right, see you later.